Hello again, everybody. Hello. Let me straighten that up a little bit. Let that face me straight on. I want you to look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. You are getting sleepy. So, uh, so I'm out checking machines today. How's that? <laughs> I love a sunroof. I love a moonroof, you know. I love it on a cool night, 75 degrees, the wind blowing in your hair, and uh, listening to some light jazz as you drive along the beach. Actually, in Dallas, there is no beach, so we got to drive south down to the Houston area, and there is a beach down there, but the, the water's, I was going to say the muddy, the water's so muddy, um because the gulf doesn't really have currents and so the water on the gulf is extremely muddy i was checking a vending machine in a place that i felt really sad about it was kind of a nursing home and everyone that i saw in there was fairly young and they were all kind of mentally challenged kind of sad they were really 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 to the point where they couldn't even like you know, hold a spoon and feed themselves. It was really sad. Um, I don't, I don't make a lot of money there, but you know, like I say, always, as I say, a place where you're not making much money is better than your storage unit or your garage or your basement or whatever. And another thing about Texas, uh, you won't find basements in Texas. And I've heard two reasons why. One, they really want to put all the money up above ground. They don't want to spend the money. Uh, they don't want to spend money building houses underground because nobody can see underground, and everybody wants to be seen in Dallas, I guess, Texas, I guess. Uh, the soil is probably very hard. It's got a lot of rock, stone. So when there's tornadoes, we've got a real problem. We don't have any basements to hide in. So, as I was leaving the nursing home, uh, there was there's a code, you punch in a code, like 5820 pound or something like that, and I saw a sign on the door that said, do not let any residents out. And I thought, you know, but what if they want to come out? What if they want to come out and go for a walk or something? What if they want to go out and play, you know? <sighs> They shouldn't be forcing people to stay inside if they want to come outside. It's a nice day. It's a beautiful day. The weather's nice. <clears throat> the sun is shining, kind of. It's kind of hazy. It's kind of overcast. All right, guys. If you don't really understand me by now, after all the videos I've made, I've made over 45 or so videos, I'm a little sarcastic. So that was a joke, letting old and mentally challenged people out of a facility that takes care of them. If they want to come out and play, that was a joke. So if you didn't get the joke, I apologize. Sometimes my humor goes over people's heads. Um, I was told that my sense of humor would go well in England. A lot of people have a dry sense of humor in England. So uh, going into the vending business, let's talk a little bit about that. These are two items. Someone asked me, what are what are items, what are the things that you always have with you? One, I always have W WD40. WD40. Uh, and by the way, I believe that's made with fish oil, so if you're a vegetarian, don't eat this. Don't drink it. Okay. And the second thing I always have is a roll of paper towels. I have a roll of paper towels with me at all times, and that is just so I can clean up any dirty vending machines. And a lot of places, they do clean the vending machines for you. They do take care of the vending machines. They dust it and wipe it clean. Um, that's about it for the vending business today, and I want to share with you a little bit about what's going on with my diet, if you don't mind. And if you want to skip this part, I don't mind. 
you can move on to other things. So the next few minutes, I'm just going to talk about my vegetarian diet. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to be a vegetarian is I was looking at the way animals are created and humans are created. And we are actually made a lot like animals that don't eat meat. Um, we sweat. Animals that don't eat meat, they sweat. Animals that eat meat, they pant to cool themselves. Okay, so that's one of the things. Um, we don't really have claws. That's another thing. Um, we have a long intestinal tract. You know, from your mouth to your rectum is 12 times the length of your torso. That's, that's a long distance that food has to travel before it exits the body. And meat eaters, by the way, they have a very short intestinal tract. It's three times the length of their torso. So meat passes through very quickly. In fact, um, and I'm not saying that I want to be a vegetarian because I like, I mean, I don't like meat. Trust me. I love the flavor of meat. And so the real challenge is trying to find meat substitutes. Bacon, I think, is going to be one of the hardest. Um, I've seen a video or two on how to make fake bacon, make fake bacon. Um, so maybe in one of these videos, I will make fake bacon, making bacon. Um, but that's the video of the day. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And thank you guys for subscribing. I have uh, almost a thousand subscribers. Thank you very much. It really means a lot to me. It shows me that um, Despite what my mother used to say, I will amount to something. I will amount to something. I will become something one day. My mother asked me just recently why I'm not filthy rich. And I'm like, well, maybe some people in this world just aren't meant to be rich. Mom, I don't see you living in a mansion. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all have a good day. Enjoy the weather out there. I don't know what the weather's like where you live, but here it's beautiful today. We've had about a week or two, a week or about 10 days of rain. So now the sun is out and uh, it's nice. The weather's nice. Enjoy these videos. Um, always give a thumbs up if you like them and uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I love the feedback, guys and ladies. Thank you very much for the feedback and we will let you go. Have, have a good day.